Welcome to Super Flat World Modded Survival. Yes, it's a long name, but um, we're working on it. So this is actually my world from uh, my streams, which are you know available on the channel. But that's not what we're going to play on today. Uh, we're going to start from the beginning, and we're going to show you guys like essentially how you'll start the game. So. We'll go to single player, I've got some worlds downloaded, um, but you don't have to, you know, I've got Skyblock and all that, because you can play it on those versions of the world. But we're going to do it from here, and we're going to make this a video series. Video, right, and then uh, I'm going to play on, so my stream world is on hard, but we've got a difficulty scaling pack, so I'm going to try it on easy, and it'll probably be better for the flow of the video. Uh, on streams it's fun running and getting your stuff back, but on, on videos it's not. So you want to turn off uh, generating structures. You don't have to, but I prefer to because it makes it a little bit too easy, or I assume it would. Now, if you want to have it super hard, you can do it like this. But, what I like to do is, I like to do bottomless pit. It's a little bit easier and a little bit harder. It's easier because you have access to cobblestone. It's harder because there's going to be a lot of creepers. I'm warning you about that now. And those creepers are not friendly. Turn on bonus chest. That's important because there's a lot of items that you cannot get. And it's essential that you, you start off with a bonus chest. If for nothing else, just the chest. Because you're going to get a lot of loot from these mobs. Um, that's everything that you need to do for now. Obviously, you can play around with it however you like. And just a heads up, there's a link in the description to download the mod pack. It's constantly getting updated. It's on 1.18.2, so it's new. So we're waiting for new mods to come out. We're also, uh, lots of mods are getting bug fixes and all that. So we're, we're playing it like that. So let's have a little look. Let's see how this goes. I wonder what our world is going to look like, it, it, like it always does. So, what I like to do is I like to mine out a 9 by 9 block. Um, when I first start at spawn, and then I want to go and get my chest. Let's see what we've got. No saplings, but we've got some seeds. Cucumber seeds, not terrible, not the best, but they're, they're not terrible. Um, as food is going to be fairly, it's not going to be easy to get, it's also not going to be difficult to get. Um, as you can see, we've got some interesting mobs here. Uh, we've also got a goblin mod here, um, where you should be able to, you should be able to trade with them. I don't know why I can't, <laughs> but there you go. Yeah, you've got those bison. Uh, those bison are very, very strong. I wouldn't mess with them if I were you. Um, so we did not get... I um, just want to take an inventory of like how much wood do we have and stuff. Not a ton. Right, not a ton. That's fine. Right, now we want to go two blocks down. Alright, that, that's how I do it at least. You guys can do it however you like, uh, and then we want to go free out from here. Actually, I, I, I'm kind of finding that the, um, the 9 by 9 is good, but it's not, it's not great. It doesn't give you a ton of space, so, um, yeah, what I'll do is, I think that's enough. Uh, one, two, three, four, yeah, perfect. One, two, three, four, perfect. No, oh, one, two, three, perfect. So that's what nine by nine would get you. Um, I'm thinking maybe we, maybe we expand this. Um, probably by on three on each direction. Now, the problem with expanding it is you've just got more room to cover. Uh, one thing I advise you get on like night one is a bed. So we're going to go hunt for some sheep. Uh, we've got a mod that turns off 
um, slimes, because slimes actually make it far too easy. You might think, oh, well, wouldn't slimes make it harder? They would and they wouldn't. Now, the reason they make it far too easy, right, okay, we've got chickens, we don't have uh, sheep, that's fine. Um, I mean, the big problem is with, uh, come here. The big problem with um, um, the chickens is you can't eat the meat right away. Um, but that's thing. we've got various types of meat. Uh, we've also got uh, Pam's Harvest Craft, we've got Croptopia. Um, come here. Um, so, we've got plenty of mods that let us do um, like a lot of different things. Um, for like farming and stuff like that. Um, and we also have um, Spice and Life Carrot Edition, which is uh, pretty good because it allows us to, uh, like the more different foods we eat, um, the ability to gain extra health, as you can see by that little, um, that little thing that appeared there. It's showing me that like I've tried a new food so the more uh, food you try, we're literally getting every mob apart from sheep. Are you kidding me? Dude, we've got your like ugly cousins over there. We don't need you guys. Uh, although, I'll take the leather. So yeah, um... Right, let's get one of you. There we go. And let's get you now. I really hope we get sheep. Um, there we go, that's our base. And that is more cows. We don't need cows. Um, and you'll see those, uh, this in my inventory, those are heart uh, shards. Um, you craft nine of them into an inventory and you get an extra heart. There's also power shards that I think are, uh, that I personally think are really cool because they actually give you. Um, they give you like higher damage. Um, so those are quite useful. Are you kidding me? So we've got a donkey, right? Let, let me get this right. We've got a donkey, but we don't have a sheep and it's becoming nighttime. Oh man. Okay, let's, let's just pray that this guy is like spawned near some like sheep or something. We've found more goblins than we have sheep. Let's see. Oh, I just picked them up. Right, um. Can I do that with all mobs? No, I can just pick up goblins for some reason. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> We'll need to figure out how the goblin mod uh, works. Uh, currently my internet's down, so um, yeah, we can't do that anytime soon, but we at some point we'll figure out how the goblin mod uh, works. Oh, dude, it looks like, and I really hate to say this, it looks like we aren't gonna find any sheep. Oh man, that sucks. That really, really sucks. Right now, let's turn back. Yes, yeah, far too much of a risk at the moment. There we go. Yeah, far, far too much of a risk. Oh man, that's not great. That's not great at all. Um, crap. Um, I think that's going to be the same mobs over there. Yeah, just the donkey and the sheep and all of that. Yeah, the sheep, I wish. And the... <laughs> Dude, what, what a start. What a start. Um, yeah, not the best start. Not the best start, I'll be honest with you guys. Um, but that's okay. 
Um, oh, right, let's see. Because we can't get sheep just now, um, probably our best bet is um, see if we can upgrade our tools slightly. Um, so I'm just going to get this mined out. See, my hope was we'd get, um, we'd get wool by now, so, like, I wouldn't have to be worried about the night coming and I could take my time making the base, that's why I made the base slightly bigger. Not the case, but that's okay. I mean, the pain is we're going to have to go down and get some stone um, to like upgrade our tools. I'm not, that wasn't really what I was wanting to do just yet now. Um, that was revising. I'm just keeping an eye on the mini map. Uh, the mini map on this is so good, um, almost overpowered. Um, because it shows you where items are, so like you can just wait till night time sleep and then come through and like scoop up all the items and you know exactly where they are that's why we've got this mini map and the uh, journey um yeah right um right so we're gonna have the wall there and then one two three four five i think that's far enough um, yeah, that, that'll be far enough. Sorry, I'm just, um, I'm planning at the trench, because I, I like to build these out in a trench at first. Um, so, that's why I was counting that out. Right, okay. Um, right, come on, because it's becoming nighttime very quickly. Um, and you'll see when it becomes nighttime because the place will get covered in mobs. Like your whole mini map fills up. So we need eight, nine, ten, eleven. Right, perfect. Right, okay. Oh crap. Right, okay. Probably should have put the beef in my inventory, but um, yeah, I didn't think to. Come on. Right, chuck you in here. I really don't want to be using up a lot of my uh, stuff. Um, we'll do it like that. And then as soon as this comes over here, I really don't want a creeper to like surprise attack me either. There we go. Perfect. Now it is important that we kill mobs because uh, there's a lot of resources that we aren't able to get without uh, killing them. We also have this uh, mod that gives you loot bags, and those loot bags are only dropped by uh, hostile mobs. So, uh, and that's basically gonna work, be where all your progression is. Like, your progression is basically based totally on RNG. Um, so you could have really good luck, or you could have really bad luck. Um, 
The one thing that I do advise that you do is get storage set up as quickly as you can. Um, yeah, the quicker you can get good storage, the the better. Um, right, okay, okay, whoa, hey, 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 hey. Uh, we've also got these uh, legendary mobs that, as you can see, uh, by the way, I'm not dropping my weapon, like, it's forcing me to drop my weapon. Dude, what on earth? That was brutal. Uh, yeah, so we, we've got like those legendary mobs that will show up. Um, now what they drop is uh, simultaneously really useful and not and useless at the same time. He didn't drop it, um, that's strange. Um, they drop enchanting books. Um, which you might think, ah, oh, enchanting book, like, those are fairly useful. Um, they are and they aren't. Uh, obviously we need to get an anvil and Depending on how lucky we are, um, you know, um, we can either do really good on that front and like get an anvil and then boom, uh, or we might be on like five days into the game and not have an anvil. Um, yeah, so like that's. That is like a real concern. Got a skelly bro, let's go. Oh, well, if he's just gonna ignore me, I am not gonna protest. He's not gonna ignore me, is he? Oh. Right, one of these guys is legendary. There we go. Uh, yeah, that spider over there is legendary. Right, okay, 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 okay. Let's circle back. Let's avoid that spider over there. We got a loot bag, which is like the important thing for this uh, for this stage in the game. Um, I've also got a oh right, yeah, that's from my yeah, I know what that's from. Legendary, we stay away from them at this stage. I'm just not going after legendaries. the The risk reward isn't worth it. Like you can get some really good enchantments, but the thing is, like the um, yeah, so you can get some really good enchantments, but like as you can see, the guy gave me like withering and poison, and he struck me with lightning. Like that's that's pretty intense. Uh, we've also got Mystical Agriculture, forgot about that. Uh, we've also got that other one that I always get muddled up with Mystical Agriculture. Whoa, dude, chill, chill, I haven't even got my gear yet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. hey, 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 hey. Right, okay, fuck that, dude. Withered away while fighting a spider. Of course I did. Right, do you see why a bed is very useful? Like, you can get what you need and then you can leave. Doing, like, that's what you're really wanting. Right, 
Let's do a few. Oh. Also, by this time, you've normally earned like another heart. Or like a few other hearts, actually. There we go. Keep an eye on behind me. There we go. This guy is a bit of a pain, but what's good about them is they tend to. Ah, uh, fuck, he hit me with hunger. Uh, they tend to attack other mobs, like by accident, quite a bit. So you do get like a, a benefit from like the crossfire. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! 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 Yeah, dude, this is. This is not great, is it? <laughs> it's not the best. This is really not the best start. Um, oh, cookies. I don't know how we got cookies, but there we go. As you can see, those guys are fighting, and then we've gained two hearts from trying a new food. Goblin Trader, very useful guys. Uh, not very useful right now, uh, although, Coal from the zombie flesh is actually pretty useful. Uh, we don't have enough logs um, to make a campfire, which is unfortunate because that is something that's very useful. Um, but for now, I'm going to let everything sort itself out. We're going to put down our first chest. Mind that one out so low. Um, so we're gonna put down our chest and basically put everything we don't need in here. Which is basically everything we have. Um, yeah. Put the coal in here as well for now, and then we'll pop the loot bag, see what we get. Sometimes it goes in your inventory, sometimes it doesn't. Right, what's this? <clears throat> Right, let's see what this is used for. Uh, nothing incredibly useful at the moment. We can make armor out of it, which it doesn't seem like it's the best armor, but if I shift, if I shift here. Um, less mana cost. Right, okay, it's like a mana thing. We, we, don't, we don't really need that right now. So we'll just put this in here. A fucking hell, iron seeds, okay, right, this is what I mean by like a good start or a bad start. Um, prismarine uh, shard bulb, that means we can start growing prismarine. Uh, turtle soup, yeah, that's fine. Um, right, I'm not going to be using the create mod. Uh, we've got mud, that's fine. Uh, we've got... We've got this, um, which I think is pretty cool. So we'll put that here. Uh, we can just put this on anything, can't we? Yeah, we can. And then this helmet. Perfect. Right, okay, we're, get, we're getting there, we're getting there. Um, got a decent amount of food now. Um, got a toolbox from Create. Again, not really going to get into Create too much at all, just because it's, it's quite a complex mod, isn't it? Um, I mean, maybe at some point, maybe at some point we'll get into create, but right now, um, not my priority. Right now, my priority is collecting these mob drops. 
um, yeah, collecting these mob drops and seeing if we can find some sheep to kill. Um, yeah, so as you can see, you're probably expecting one to two of those um, loot bags a night. So not a massive amount, but also not uh, a terrible amount either. Uh, a good thing is that you can kind of basically just start the game with a bow as well. Like after the first night, you basically got a bow because you're always going to have that wood from the the bonus chest. The only problem is I haven't had a bonus chest with a sapling in it yet. And, you know, if you can get a sapling, then that's brilliant. Um, what's also good with those uh, goblin traders, you basically have an infinite supply of coal and uh, yes it's half a stack of a uh, cobble to get um to get emeralds which you know might seem op but you're not really you're not really going to be getting the ability to oh this gives you bones that's useful uh, yeah, you're not going to really get the ability to use emeralds, at least immediately. Yes, you're going to have like a, a stack of emeralds and maybe you can make emerald armor, but like even then you're, you're still talking, you're going to have to mine a few stacks of cobble, which is going to be difficult because you've only got two layers that you can mine and even then it's more so just one layer that you can mine. Um, so it's not bad. Like, I'd say it's not too overpowered. Um, yeah, I'd say it's not too overpowered. Right, give me some sheep, please. Right, let me get... Let me get some more cobble. Get myself a stone sword. Um, you know what, I'm just gonna mine it out here. And the cobble's such a useful resource as well, it's very unlikely that you're going to be trading for emeralds. Uh, because we have the Goblin Trader, we don't have Project E. I did consider adding in Project E, but um, and it would fit with this style of mod pack, but I, I don't think it's um, I don't think it's the best thing. I think uh, the kind of grinding is better because you can put those uh, loot bags into like the um, the like wee machine um and obviously that that can be a bit overpowered <laughs> by can be i mean it definitely is very overpowered um right let's see um no it's hilarious the limiting factor for like torches instead of being it being coal like you know every other like playthrough is actually sticks um, which I find quite funny. At least for now it is. Um, let's go kill some of these passive mobs and then hope so that some more. Um, so what was this? Nourishment. That's good. Um, yeah. So we're gonna deal with these um, these guys. Mainly so we have a chance of getting more passive mobs. Um, if not, I guess it's a case where we have to farm spiders, but it's not. Hey, hey, hello sheep. Hello sheepy, sheepy, sheep. I'm not gonna kill you, what makes you think that? Gotta make sure we don't hit the bison because those guys hit heavy. There we go. Boom. Done. Easy. Right, that was pretty good. I'm glad that happened. Um, grab this string and then. Is there something underground that we need to pick up? There we go. Perfect. Um, 
it will pop here and here. I'll grab some foam. Smelt you down. We will also grab some wood. Go into here. Boom, boom, boom. 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 Uh, yes, we will make it a red bed at some point, but just not, uh, not right now. Uh, and then we'll also make, um, which I hate using all my wood like instantly, but it is something that's really important. Um, as it lets us dig up this mess. Because again, like wood, like once you run out, you run out, like <laughs> unless you get saplings. Um, so it might be a point where we get to a stage where we've used all our wood and now we're having to like basically farm mobs so we ha get like a um, so we get like a what do you call it um oh fuck what's it called like a sapling or like more wood from that drop like it gets to that point where like you are worried about that. Um, now building blocks really at the start you, you mostly just have access to dirt um, which isn't bad you know uh, and then obviously when you're like opening up those look bags you are getting a few different things and like a lot of those things can be fairly helpful um, so like some of those uh, can be like really good for you know um, like all sorts but like they can be really good for like getting building material for your base and it's quite fun because it means you don't really pick this style of your base at least not at first so like that's pretty cool at least in my opinion it is yeah so as you can see like those like we need to do this down like two more levels But for now, we're just going to wait for some mobs to spawn and then we're going to go to bed. I know it's not the ideal way, like you want to see me like go out and kill all these mobs, but you know, it's not, that's not happening just now at least. There we go to bed there we go those guys burn off and um, we still run the risk of like creepers which in this style of the game where you know you break that last bit of stone and you're like in the void like creepers are a worry like because they're, they're going to do damage that, although you can't fix, it's going to be very difficult to fix. Um, yeah. You know what? Um, and, like, the thing is, you, you don't even have access to water. Uh, j just so you guys understand, like, how crazy this mod pack is. You do not even have access to water. 